I think a large section of Brisbane lives and breathes Moreton Bay. You know, Moreton Bay and its beautiful islands are really important to the people of South East Queensland. Shellfish reefs are really important for estuaries around the world and particularly um, areas such as Moreton Bay because they provide habitat for a variety of different organisms, so commercially important fish and crustaceans. They filter when they're feeding, so they're basically like the kidneys of the waterways in these areas. They have disappeared, so in Moreton Bay, um, oyster reefs are functionally extinct. So in Moreton Bay, we know that a lot of the shellfish reefs that historically occurred within this area were harvested for either limestone or for consumption. And that's resulted in about a 96% loss of shellfish within Moreton Bay region. When those shellfish were physically harvested from these areas, not only were the shellfish themselves harvested, but also all the rocks that they were living on. The community have realised that by losing all these shellfish reefs, we've lost the services that they provide. That's including water quality, fish production, biodiversity, Ozfishers are for fishes. We spend a lot of time looking at fish and wondering where they are and why they're not biting, where they breed and where they live. And we can see that there's habitat destruction that's happened for many years. Ozfish gives opportunities to restore fish habitat. So that's probably the most important thing, that we need to provide some appropriate substrates for those actual oysters to settle on and grow and survive. So recycled oyster shells are by far the best substrate for other oysters to settle on. Healthy Land and Water has been working with Ozfish since they started. Ozfish got behind the community-driven shell recycling. We wanted a way so that our community members could be the ones that actually deploy the reef. We decided we need to invent an oyster basket. We collect our shells from restaurants as well as commercial oyster shuckers. Then we recycle them, getting them ready to put back in the water. So we collect them, we dry them in the sun for a minimum four months when we wash them in water and they're ready to go. These baskets are made by community members in our workshop. Then our community members can actually go out on our boat on the Quampy Pearl and deploy the reefs themselves. We do have the oysters still there, but the baby oysters have nowhere to settle. They have nowhere to form new reefs. So by putting back this substrate and recycled shell, we're providing habitat for those baby oysters, and then those baby oysters in turn can form reefs, and that will then provide habitat for regrowing those reefs. Shellfish reefs provide home, food, and breeding sites for fish. It's estimated for every hectare of shellfish reef that we restore, it will actually produce two and a half tonnes of fish every year, forever. Collaborative research between universities and citizen science groups, community groups, is really important. It gives us some important baseline information, some data that we can then use to optimise not only where we place the reefs, but how we design those reefs in the future. So we as scientists are great at bringing all of that information together, but it's imperative that we have passionate people on the ground actually implementing those plans. And that's where community groups and organisations like Ozfish can really come to the fore. To me, this project's really important, not so much for me, but for my kids and their kids, so my grandkids and, and so on down the line. I think it's, um, it's really important that we do something about the water quality in Moreton Bay. What I love about working with Ozfish is that it's so community driven and this really is the best way for coastal restoration.